Good evening everyone and welcome to another short video. So I'm taking a break and we're going to be working on one of the hacker rank warm up problems. This is the uh, diagonal difference one. Uh, we're given a matrix and we're asked to calculate the difference between the sums of its diagonal. And we're given an example here of the matrix. And you guys can see that the state right to left diagonal is going to equal right uh, 1 plus 5 plus 9, which is going to be 1 plus 5 plus 9 and then the right to left diagonal is going to be 3, 5 and 9. All right. uh, we are given the constraints here. This should fit in a regular sign int and then we're given an example here. So if we add 11 plus 5 we'll get 16. Right. Uh, 16 plus negative 12 is going to give us 4. And then if we go from right to left, we're going to get uh, 4 plus 5 is going to equal 9, plus 10 is going to equal 19. 19 minus 4 is going to equal 15, so that's fine here. And then they give us like a detailed explanation of what's going on. And as you guys can see here, um, at least with this example, that going from left to right pretty much just creates a step, right? Um, however, it doesn't really matter how you store the right to left values. Um, as long as you access them in the right way. So going from right to left, however, is not so simple. Um, the reason is because we're looking at the uh, rows and then the column is the last number. So we're pretty much flipping what we did here and accessing it in the reverse manner. Um, so let's go ahead and code this out. I think I have a, a solution for this. And I think we can do this in either two for loops or one for loop. I think one for loop might do. All right. So uh, we need two variables. So just, I'm just going to say int right. It's going to equal uh, whatever. Just I think you could say zero or uh, int left. Actually, let's make them zeros. All right, and then what we need to do is create a for loop. So we're going to say for um, int call equals to zero, right? And call is less than r dot length. We do call plus plus. All right, and since the first one is pretty much going to represent a step, that means that if we go if we curl zero and we go a call, a call for both the row and column, we're going to access 11. And then when it's one, we're going to access five. And when it's two and two, we're going to access negative 12 here. So what we can just say is that the, um, the left, right, is going to plus equal um, R call call. So now we want to we want to get the uh, reverse of this, right? Um, I think here we might need another another uh, another uh, type. We might need another int value here. So let's make this a row, All right? And this row is gonna equal because we want to start from the back. So let's make this r dot length. Right, minus one, and uh, the right is going to plus equal r, and this is going to be call, and then we want to do a row minus minus because we want to start from the back here. We want to go four, and then we, when this comes down, it's going to be zero and two, right? And then this is going to be one and one, and then this is going to be uh two and two and zero so that makes that makes sense at least the way i'm visualizing it all right so once that is done we just have to return um do math dot apps uh we can do left mm, minus right and we have to cast this to an int why did I add the extra? Uh, well, parentheses, I don't know why I added the extra. Anyway, that's fine, it will still work. 
okay so hopefully this runs without any errors so let's go ahead and um, run the test first and see if this works all right you can see that that worked and let's submit this